Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Array String Methods 1 for part 3 of Module 1. And a couple of cool things. This is going to be one of the first sections where we're going to need to pay explicit attention to the notes. Uh, rather than just telling us, although when y'all see this, it'll probably say you should be familiar with the split method as well, just because I don't think it's really fair to give you this question without telling you that you probably want to use split, because that's basically what both of these problems are. So both these problems will include that, but they also include this if given an empty string, it should return an empty array. This is our one of our first explicit edge cases. There might have been others previously, but this is one where uh, it is unlikely that the methodology we use to solve the function in general is going to take care of the edge case. So whenever we have a situation like that, we usually put the edge case up at the top and sort that out first. So what I mean by that is that if we're given an empty string, meaning if str is strictly equal to an empty string, and we can do that because those are both scalar values, um, if what I just said doesn't make any sense, don't worry about it. Just you don't want to use triple equals with arrays or objects. So if the input str is equal to an empty string, it should return an empty array. And we can just create one on line five and return it like that. Now that's the end of the edge case. At this point, we're basically taking a string and we are uh, breaking it out so that each character in the input string is an element in an array that's returned from the function, which Maybe if you were paying attention to the last one that we did, you could iterate over the string, create a new array, push each character into it as we iterate over it. Uh, and essentially, that's what JavaScript did when it created the split method. So type in split. We'll make sure we're working on a string. The split method splits a string. When it says string object, don't worry about that. Eventually, you're going to figure out that everything in JavaScript is an object, but that doesn't really help you that much right now. So just consider that a string is a string, but also is a string object. Um, so it's going to split that string object into an array of strings separated, separating the string into substrings using the spe specified separator string to determine where to make each split. And again, the descriptions here can be kind of tricky, so demos and examples are going to be your best friend. So here is one where they're splitting the string on a space. And essentially what you're going to get is you're going to get an array of all the words. Now it turns out that's the second one that we want to do. And so we've gotten a couple of examples. Uh, the examples are kind of tricky to parse at a quick analysis. So that's okay. We'll work on an example ourselves. So we'll open up the console. Let's grab this guy. str is equal to our string. And then we're going to say variable result is equal to str.split on an empty string. Now an empty string is going to split it so that every time it sees a new character, it creates a new element in the resulting array. So if we have a look at result, each character from the input string that we called split on has been split into an array. And this, if you were paying attention, well, it's not necessarily the case that if you didn't get this, you're not paying attention. But for everyone who is either paying attention or somewhat attention, you might realize that this is exactly what we want to do for, our, uh, for the function we're writing right now. So we'll close the console and we'll say variable split, splitted maybe? Hmm, split it'll be okay. Is equal to str.split and we're going to call it on an empty string. Just to make it consistent, we'll do the same double quotes there, double quotes here. Now that we've split the input string on nothing, which is to say we've split every individual character into an element of the resulting array, we can return splitted. Uh, usually we'll kind of separate both the problems, but since these are doing almost the exact same thing, we'll just jump right into this one. We'll say variable splitted, and for this one we want to split essentially on the space. So every time we see a space, we want to break that portion that we just saw into its own element uh, on an array, in an array. Oh man, it gets tricky to talk about this, so it's definitely a good idea to talk about it, uh, what would you call it? ad nauseum, so that by the time you get to the interview, you're not spilling over your words the way I am. Now, this one has the exact same edge case. If given an empty string, it should return an empty array. I'm also probably going to write in here, uh, you should be familiar with the split method, so it'll say that as well. So if given an empty string, return an empty array. Did we ever submit this one? Oh boy, we never actually submitted this one. And I feel like I just hit a character, so we typed it somewhere. There's the D. All right, so we're going to run the test on the first one. And it's correct. That took a while. It might be the case that I need to adjust those tests so they run a little quicker. And okay, so for this one, 
I'm going to call str.split again, but here, rather than doing an empty string like we did before, we're going to want to split on an actual space. So the character that we're telling it to split on is a space. As it's going over this, every time it gets to a space, it makes a new element in the array. So the resulting array contains the words from the input string. So now that we've done that, we'll return splitted. Although I guess splitted is really not a word, but that's not that big of a deal. We're going to run the test, and we're good. So might want to do a little bit of reading about split, but at the same time, if all you're able to understand is what we did in these problems, you're going to be in good shape, at least for now. Thanks for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one.